think it's safe to say that every first lady has an impact on the White House from Edith Roosevelt making the decision to hang the portraits of the first lady uh, around the house so that people could see them and, and see her also, <laughs> um, to a first lady like Jacqueline Kennedy, who comes in and, and finds a White House that has actually had so many impacts on it that it's really been transformed and she's instrumental in, in changing that, isn't she? Jacqueline Kennedy probably had the most uh, enduring impact on the White House as we know it now as a museum, as a place of curatorial um, excellence, in addition to being a place where the president works and lives. Uh, she had an expansive knowledge of history and loved, uh, loved the country, loved the education that should go along with telling our story as a nation, particularly to the nation's young people. She wanted Americans to feel connected um, to the White House and have pride uh, in the White House. And so when she came in as a young first lady, 32 years old, and one of the early it's things, young. it's very young and a young mother. And to understand history like that. And, and just it had been her passion. And of course, and as a young mother. So she was, you know, a busy young mom uh, in the White House. But what she did was take that uh, real interest in our history, in our nation's history, and also took an experience that she had as a young girl visiting the White House with her mother for a tour of the White House, and that there was no guidebook. There was nothing telling you about the rooms that you were in and the people uh, who had lived there, the families, the presidents, the first ladies who had lived there. So we have her to thank for the uh, establishing the uh, White House Historical Association as a private arm, a partner um, to uh, the White House so that the education of the White House, the preservation, the acquisitions of artifacts that belong in the, should belong to the White House collection, uh, that that would happen. She also established the office of the curator uh, working together with the First Lady and working with a private committee, the Committee for Preserva Preservation of the White House, which was some of the nation's most foremost experts um, on um, architecture and on restoration and on, hi on history. Uh, they worked together with her and with the financial support of the Historical Association, which was established now going into its 60th year, that will preserve the museum quality of the White House uh, and acquire, you know, artifacts and, and things that belong to the White House collection, restore some of the um, beautiful historical pieces like the Belanger Suite in the Blue Room, which is iconic, the, the furniture that had been purchased by President Monroe. Um, so we just, we really have her to thank her love of history, her love of education and wanting to share it for generations to come. Uh, so her impact is deeply felt and always will be, uh, thanks to, you know, her leadership in protecting the White House as a museum.